Welcome to Math Edition of Science Eleven Academy. In our previous video, we've shown how to solve Venn diagram of two cells by using Venn diagram and formula. Today, we shall be looking at how to solve Venn diagram of three cells by using both the Venn diagram and formula as well. This will be our last video on set theorem. Please, if you have any question, feel free to email us at scienceelearningacademy at gmail.com. Follow our social media pages, Science eLearning Academy, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. The question says that in a market survey, 100 traders sell fruit, 40 sell apple, 46 oranges, 50 mangoes, 14 apples and oranges, 15 apples and mangoes and 10 sell the tree fruits. Each of the 100 traders sells at least one of the three fruits. Find the number that sell oranges and mangoes only. Writing down our parameters, we have that the universal set is 100 traders. The number of traders that sell Apple, we have 40. And let's use A to represent Apple. 40 traders. Forty six for oranges. Oh, oranges. Forty six traders. Then fifty for mangoes and number of mango. Fifty traders. Fourteen traders for apple and man and oranges. We have fifteen for apple and the number of apple and mango. Is equal to fifteen traders. And the number of apple taxation mango taxation oranges that is those that serve three fruits ten traders. And we are asked to find the number of traders that sell, the number of traders that sell oranges in taxation, mango only. We don't know this. Starting with our first solution, which is the Venn diagram part, then drawing the diagram itself. All that. This is my universal set. And we are dealing with three set. This is set of. Let's use this to represent Apple and Let's assume this is orange. And this last one will be mango. So the problem is how can we fill in the data, these parameters inside this Venn diagram? 
this is where many students have challenges but i will try to make it simple as possible in this venn diagram here is where we are supposed to write the number of traders that sell apple this place is orange here is mango then this place is apple intersection mango mango here is apple orange intersection mango this place is apple intersection orange and in this small space where the three sets intersect is where we will put apple intersection orange intersection mango and this place is our universal set so you can watch our video on concepts of venn diagram for proper understanding to fill in our parameters in this diagram we we'll start with the three intersection which shows that here is 10. moving to the two intersections we have that a intersection o is 14. remember that this 14 here is not the number of trader that sells apple and oranges only some of the traders counted here they do sell mango but for the fact that you sell both apple and oranges they, you will be counted here so for us to determine the number that said apple and oranges only we need to subtract this number of traders that sell the three fruits so now 14 minus 10 will give me four so the number of people the traders that sell apple and oranges are yeah, four same thing will be applicable to apple and mangoes which is 15 15 minus 10 will give me five for o intersection m we are already asked to find the number of traders that sell oranges and mangoes only we don't know it or we can assume it to be x let's move to a o and m for a we have that the traders that sell apple you have 40. but remember this 40 is not the actual number that sells actual number of traders that sell apple only for us to determine the number of traders that sell apple only we have to subtract the intersection from this number and the intersections are 4 10 and 5. however for us to determine the traders the, no, the traders that sell apple only we have that 40 minus 4 will give me 36 and 36 minus 10 will give me 26 26 minus 5 will be 21 therefore 21 traders are the ones that sell apple only for the oranges we have 46 for oranges then we need to subtract as well 46 minus 44 will give me 42 and 42 minus 10 that will be 32 so but here we don't know what it is so now i have this place will be 32 minus x for mangoes we have 50 mangoes 50 minus 5 that will be 45 45 minus 10 will be 35 and half here to be 35 minus x and our universal set which is 100 for us to find the value of x which is the number of traders that sell oranges and mangoes only we need to sum 
everything, all the elements, and equate it to 100. And therefore, I have that 100 is equal to 21 plus 35 minus x plus 32 minus x plus x plus 4 plus 5 plus 10. Simplifying this, we have minus x and plus x, so they can cancel themselves. Then I have that 100 is equal to, let's sum the positive values together, which is 21, 35, 32, 4, 5, and 10. 21 plus 35 will give me 56. 56 plus 32, that will be 88. 88 plus 4 will give me 92. 92 plus 5, that will be 97. 97 plus 10, that will be 107. So I have 107 here. Then we are left with one negative x. Making x the subject of formula, we have to take this x to this side. So when it crosses the sign of equality, the negative sign will change to positive. We have that x now is equal to 107. And this 100 will cross the sign of equality as well. Change to negative. That is 107 minus 100. This will give me 7. Uh, therefore, seven traders are the people that sell both oranges and mango only. Using our second solution, which is formula to solve this, we we'll use this formula. I have that A union B union C is equal to the number of A plus the number of B plus the number of C minus the number of A intersection B minus the number of A intersection C minus the number of B Intersection C plus the number of A intersection B intersection C. So we'll use this formula to solve our question. Assuming that A is for those that the traders that sell apple, B out of mango, and C is a uh, oranges we have that okay let's use represent this as our universal set u which is equal to we have that a which is for apple b plus b which mango the number of those are mango plus c which is the number of traders that sells oranges half o minus the number of those that sell apple and and mango minus the number of those that sell apple and orange minus the number of those that that sell orange and mango plus 
the number of those that sell apple taxation mango taxation orange from our parameters we already have everything so substituting all this into our equation we have that 100 which is our universal set is equal to the number of traders that sell apple at 40 and that of mango 50 all ranges we have 46 minus the number of traders that sell apple and mango 15 apple and oranges 14 and oranges and mango let's assume it to be y plus the number of traders that sell the three fruits are 10. simplifying this we have that 100 is equal to summing the positive integers i have that 40 plus 50 will give me 90 and 90 plus 46 will give me 136 and 136 plus 10 will give me 146 146 and let me solve the negative integer to minus 15 minus 14 will give me 29 29 minus y therefore i have that 100 minus sorry 100 is equal to 146 146 minus 29 will give me 117 minus y making y the subject of formula we have that y is equal to 117 minus 100 this will give me 17. remember that we are asked to find the number of traders that sell oranges and mango only and we represented it as x so for us to find the value of x which is the number of those that sell oranges and mango we have that x now will be equal to y minus the number of those that sell the three fruits which is 10 then i have that x is equal to y we have y to be 17 minus 10 and this is equal to x is equal to 7 traders comparing our solution this solution using a formula with that of venn diagram you can see clearly that we arrive at the same answer so any solution you feel like is better you can go with it thank you for watching our video